Meanwhile, Biden paid a surprise visit to his daughter-in-law, Haley Biden, on Sunday ahead of her expected testimony at Hunter Biden's gun trial, which is set to begin June 3rd. If you recall, Haley was married to Bo and went on to have an affair with Hunter shortly after Bo died. The White House says Biden visited because of the approaching anniversary of Bo's passing. Perfect timing, just like this. New congressional documents revealed that Hunter Biden took a Sandy Hook memorial service as an opportunity to coordinate a meeting between Joe and one of his Chinese business partners, Liu Yedong, in December of 2017. Hunter's text read, in part, my father will be in New York also, and he wants me to attend the Sandy Hook memorial service with him. And I would like him to meet you along with my uncle Jim Biden, and then you and I can talk. Let me know if that works. Lou replied, no problem. Please let me know where and when to meet. Thanks. I mean, Jesse, this, I think, is very troubling for Hunter Biden, especially using the Biden name, bringing his father into to play here with the, in this Chinese meeting. Well, it's, it's beyond that, though. We had, what, the 12 or 13 LLCs that were camouflaged as businesses and were not businesses, that they were filtering, filtering money from over 20 foreign adversaries to pay these Bidens, including the daughter-in-law. So she's on the hook now to ensure that that cash flow doesn't stop, and she has some un unfortunate loyalty now because she's been bought by the Bidens. To be, she's now in the mess herself. So I dare to say this had nothing to do with the anniversary of the death, that he wanted to make sure that she didn't say anything that could sink his son or hurt his campaign or hurt his opportunity for reelection. We all know what's going on. The Bidens have profited off of foreign adversaries in an illegal manner for decades. And now, as they would say, the chickens are coming home to roost, and he's going to have to face that when he gets on the debate stage with Donald J. Trump. I mean, Chris, when you're looking at the fact that you would think, from an optics perspective, Biden, Joe Biden would not go see Haley Biden, at least not right now. Maybe, you know, hold it off for a little bit. They don't really concern themselves with uh, those those trivialities. You know, the New York Times and uh, ABC News are not going to do hit pieces on him, saying, oh, he's coordinating before she testifies in the trial that Hunter Biden is facing for the gun charges. Now, she's the one, while they're having the affair, that found the pistol in his, in his car and brought it to their grocery store and dropped it in the dumpster uh, behind the grocery store in the alley. Uh, and he made some racial slurs in that one, and then about the probably illegals that, you know, threw the gun back there, and he lied. And then the Secret Service came along and cleaned it up. And I'm sure they want to make sure that, that Hallie, his, uh, you know, I guess uh, Joe Biden's former daughter-in-law and Hunter's former girlfriend, while Hunter was also dating her sister at the same time, keeping a classy Biden family. And, I, you know, it looks like they're coordinating the testimony before the trial, doesn't it? Not a good look. Not a good look. But I will say, I wonder, I mean, Jason, I don't view this Hunter Biden situation scandal as being something that will completely impact this election. I think it's about inflation and all these other major issues that Biden has been able to communicate on. What do you yeah, think? I think I think it's going to be about kitchen table issues. Nobody cares about a lot of these things. Um, and Hunter Biden is not running for president. I think that's that's the, the big thing here. I also would say, look, if you've been paying attention to the president and if you read his book, he loved Bo Biden. There is no question about that. Their plan was not for him to be president. It was to make Bo president. So I, I think there's no question that, that he cares about Bo and that he visited uh, Haley or Hallie to, uh, to, you know, commemorate Bo's death. Biden had to be bullied into acknowledging his illegitimate grandson. He doesn't remember when his son died, I think. You know, he this does. Nine, nine year anniversary is very, not is very convenient yeah. about that. And if yeah, you think that that's what it is, you can buy a nice taxpayer funded pier in Gaza that Biden is funding. Yeah. It's yeah. slipping away. Anyone can. It is. It's floating away and crashing on the shore. Yeah. And uh, Hunter Biden uh, is not running for president, but he is a major money source for the man that is running for president. And the money's coming from China and Ukraine and Russia and all kinds of other charming places.